Wait, doctor, I don't think I'm- Hey everyone, it's Hono, and this is a story of one of my most traumatizing and humiliating experiences ever. So around the beginning of 2015, when I was around 17, I noticed that an odd pattern was developing every time I took a dump. I noticed there would sometimes be blood. Not a lot, but noticeable enough for me to be like, what the f But of course, I was not concerned enough to go to the doctors or tell my parents about it. I didn't think there was a need to be concerned because it didn't hurt, I would only bleed a little bit, and at the time, my logic was that because I love to eat so much spicy food, my brain translated that as Red food equals red poop. But the problem is, I would still bleed even if I wasn't eating spicy food. But I was dumb and I continued to ignore this for an entire year. Which, looking back, was stupid, but then again, it would never be painful and there would only be the smallest amount. So fast forward an entire year, it's December, the end of 2015, and surprise surprise, my ass is still bleeding. But this time, my booty wanted to change it up a little. She said, hashtag new year, new me, let's ruin Honobo's life today. Now it's Christmas morning, I took a dump and I realized I was on my period. And I knew it was my period and not my booty blood because my menstrual flow is super heavy. Not like the little drops of blood that my ass would leak. Like, I would have to change my pants every time I sneezed because it was just that heavy. Like, every time I sneezed, my body would just... <coughs> so later that evening, I used the bathroom... But when I pulled my pants down, there was no blood. And considering how heavy my period is, things weren't adding up. Don't ask me how I didn't notice the blood was not coming out of my vagine in the morning or throughout the day. I don't know, I just wasn't thinking. I saw a bunch of blood in the morning and just thought, oh, my period. So just to make sure I wasn't tripping or anything, I decided to take a shit anyways. And when I did, a shit ton of blood came out. Like... Like a concerning amount of blood. And I think to myself, I should probably tell my parents. So it's 3 a.m. I'm in my parents' room trying to wake them up. And I'm just standing at their doorway like, Um, mommy, my butt, butt is bl bleeding. Huh? What are you saying? What's going on? Uh, I'm bleeding. I can't hear you. What? My butt is bleeding and I don't know why. Huh? Since when? <laughs> Since January. So now it's 3 a.m. I'm in the ER with my mom and I'm sitting there in ugly tears explaining to the doctor how my butt bled for an entire year every time I pooped but I never did anything about it because I eat hot Cheetos blah 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 and I don't know please help me. The doctor then explained to me that I would need to get an examination done to find out what exactly was going on basically a prostate exam, and he explained to me that I would need to pull my pants down just enough to reveal my butt, lay on my side on the bed, and lift my top leg up. I nodded, then waited for him to leave the room so I could pull my pants down and get ready. But tell me why this man did not leave, but in Instead, he started putting on a finger cot and preparing that finger with lube. This man, this old man who is a complete stranger to me is going to insert his finger into my 18 year old bleeding butthole at 3 a.m. in front of my mom. And me being a socially anxious and shy person, of course, I didn't speak up for myself about being uncomfortable because I already felt like a burden for just being seen for what I thought was a trivial thing. At this point, I, I just wanted it to be done and over, so I pulled my pants down and I just laid there. And then, no warning, just sudden, cold, slimy discomfort. Finally, the doctor said, You don't seem to have any hemorrhoids, and I'm not seeing any signs of anal fissuring, so we'll have to run some more examinations to see if the cause could be something else happening internally. So I got into a hospital gown, and I had to lie on this cold metallic table as I got my full body x-ray done. And as I laid there, I just... I just stared at the roof, and all I could think about was... What the f*** just happened? 
What am I even doing here? Why is this happening to me? I should have just kept my mouth shut, let my ass bleed. After the x-ray and waiting for results, the doctor came back to us and explained that he didn't find anything abnormal with my x-rays and that I just have rectal bleeding as far as he's aware of for now and that sometimes colon cancer, which these symptoms are associated with, won't appear until later in life and that if bleeding persists or if I develop any new pain, to return as soon as possible. Like, that was it. That was the diagnosis. My paperwork really just straight up said, rectal bleeding. At the end of this experience, I thought to myself, I really went through this traumatic ass experience. Literal traumatic ass experience. For this doctor to tell me, I don't know man, you're, you're just bleeding from your butt. At the end of the day, I'm aware that it wasn't all for nothing and I am thankful to the doctor for clearing up the concern for a possible life-threatening situation. But it just sucks that I could have not gone to the ER and gone through all that and I still would have been fine, you know? But I do understand it's better to be safe than sorry. Anyways, I'm turning 23 this year. Haven't bled since high school, still don't know what it was, but what matters is that I'm completely fine and healthy now, so that's it guys. My ass bled for a year, I got my ass fingered by a strange man in the middle of the night in front of my mom, only to learn that my ass was bleeding.